from a cup. So we are on the way. Uh, we're on the way to on Orn's Hazy. And uh, Leanne's having second thoughts, but <laughs> the, bottom, <laughs> the bottom line is she's in the car already, so she can't really change her mind. So we're on the way to Orn's Hazy. And uh, we are a little bit early, early but we're going to meet Mandy. And uh, the ceremony's at five. Look around to read the Tell us about tell us about today, my love. I know, me too. Hello, I'm getting married today. <laughs> this is going on YouTube. <laughs> I, need a, I need a channel. So you guys can tag me and subscribe to my channel that's not made yet. In preparation for this video. Oh man on the corner. Selling pencils from a cup. Can you just wait, damn it? Let's go get married. Come, let's go get married. <laughs> Afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Obviously, a very exciting celebration that we get to do and come together with. I haven't met you yet. Um, cycling crew, I've met you guys. Lovely to see you. For the rest of my name is Phil. Um, obviously, a great honor and privilege to be a pastor Phil. <laughs> great honor and privilege to be here today to celebrate. Uh, what is going to be a very special day, but I think what's most exciting about today is not in today, it's really in your guys' future. You. I believe that your marriage here from out is going to be a place of strength for both of you. You're going to overflow into the people and the couples around you. So today we're going to share some words, but really I'm so encouraged uh, by your guys, by your relationship. I find you unique and authentic people, and I think from that you're going to flow blessing into Thank each other. Um, I just want to compliment you guys. Leanne, you look amazing. Thank you. Um, Jono, you've tried your very best. <laughs> so, to that we, you know, to that we commend. If I can just open in prayer, and then we're just going to share a few words today before we exchange vows. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for what today represents. We thank you for Leanne. We thank you for Jonathan, God. We thank you, Lord, that today is exciting. Today is special. It's the future. That's where all the hope lies and the blessing, God. We thank you, God, that this marriage in its uniqueness and its authenticness is going to be a place of love, a safe haven for this couple, for their friends, and for their families. We pray this in your name alone. Amen. Amen. Guys, just a few thoughts that I'd love to share with you today before you obviously celebrate in the ocean. <laughs> a couple of scriptures that I really felt on my heart to share with you guys today. Uh, the first one being Ecclesiastes 4, verses 9 to 12. It's a few verses, so please bear with me. Sure. But I really feel this on my heart for you guys. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. 100%. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep each other warm. Come on, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's good news. But how can one... Will you keep me warm tonight, brother? <laughs> but how can one keep warm alone? Verse 12, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. However, a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. What's so powerful about the scriptures, it speaks about the power of a team, it speaks about the power of a couple. It is so indicative to marriage. It talks about really the highs and lows that marriage entails. There will be moments where the end yourself, you're going to be on top of the world, happy, loving life, killing it. And Jonathan might not be on top of the world, but what's beautiful in those moments is you're going to be able to give him your strength, you're going to be able to give him your love, you're going to be able to give him your generosity. And then there might be moments, as the scripture says, where the other one comes. And then Jonathan will be able to come and be that for you, to be loving, to be supportive, to be strong. But it's really that final piece of truth that I want to share with you guys. And really, if you remember, if you remember one thing today, I don't, I don't expect you to remember anything, but if you remember one thing today, it's verse 12 that says there's a board of three strands that's not quickly broken. I think we've all been around long enough and have seen couples and people get married in the most beautiful venues, with the most beautiful celebrations, with the most beautiful vows, but often those marriages don't work out. Today, I think, let us hold on to verse number 12 
that as we gather and stand in as witness to each other, it's the cord of three strands that's not quickly broken. So I count one strand, I count two strands. The third strand in this marriage is going to be the Holy Spirit. 100%. The Holy Spirit is going to lead and it's going to fill the gaps where we as people are not able to. But there are going to be moments where in our human nature, we will fall short. That is why. Yeah. But in this marriage, the way we fall short is not going to impact the expectancy of this marriage. It's the Holy Spirit who's going to come in and tie you together and make you stronger. That's not even a part of the, the, the sermon. That's just for you guys. Bless you. A couple of thoughts that I want to share with you guys just from the sermon today is really from the scripture in 2 Corinthians. Maddie's joining us. <laughs> My co-pilot. Come on. Just the scripture from 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6. It says this. Remember this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. But whoever sows generously will reap generously. A powerful scripture, one we've heard and applied in many different ways, in many different contexts, but I feel that it says a lot about marriage. The first thing, two things I want to share from this, the first thing I'd like to share is that sowing and reaping implies a weight. Think of it, any farmers here or anybody who's ever planted something before, it's rare that something we plant tonight, we can reap a harvest tomorrow, it implies a weight. I think the same in marriage. Sometimes we think, hey, if we can get two or three decisions right, where we live, uh, the places we go on holiday, where we send our kids, that will ensure our marriage will be the best marriage ever. That's not actually how it works. You see, marriage is decisions that we make over a long period of time, decisions to choose one another, decisions to serve one another. They might not be the most Instagrammable moments. They might not be the biggest moments that we're going to put. Which are really important. Though. Incredibly important. <laughs> they might not be the moments you put on the YouTube channel yeah, when you're 2,000 subscribers, 20,000 subscribers, but they are the daily unseen gestures facing one person above themselves. It doesn't happen overnight. I heard a great saying that says, small steps take steps in the right direction lead to beautiful destinations. So for us as a couple, we in the future, I think it's about focusing on two or three major things. I think we're going to focus on one another. And as we focus on one another, serving one another out of a place of generosity, out of a place of love, I believe you're going to see a beautiful marriage come to the fore. And the second thing I'd love to share is we reap in kind with what we sow. So if we're going to sow apple seeds, we're most likely going to reap apples. Apples. There you go. Okay, great. We'll be yeah. out today. If we're going to sow orange seeds, we're probably going to reap oranges. If we sow, what we sow into our marriage is often what we're going to reap. But I love sharing this because sometimes the default in marriage, and I've been married only five years, I'm sure there's people here who've been married much longer. I've often felt that, you know what, when I get home, this is what I need from my spouse. I need love, I need peace, I need this. Stand on that, Matt. Stand on that, Matt. All good. You're gonna hold my hand, Matty. Okay. Oh, there we go. You good? <laughs> Like I was saying, we reap in kind. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm falling for this guy. You are falling for me, Thank you. Like I was saying, we reap in kind with what we sow, and often the default can be what I'm needing is what I'm going to ask for, is what I'm going to expect. I'd like to rephrase that question for us today, and instead of saying, you know, if this is what I'm needing from my spouse, it's more posing on what am I pouring into my spouse. So if I think about how I'm going to reap what I sow, then let me take time to sow love. Let me take time to show generosity. Let me take time to show kindness. I like to use the analogy of a bank account. I would love to make withdrawals from a bank account. I've never put a deposit in. I don't know if anybody else would agree with me. I would love to take money from a place that I've never put a deposit in. That'd be amazing. Sometimes we treat our marriages like that. We want to constantly make withdrawals, but we're not focused on how many deposits we're putting into our marriage. If you have two people that are so focused on making deposits of love, deposits of, of self-service, of generosity, of kindness, of peace and of joy. Two people so focused on making deposits of they never have to worry about a withdrawal. It will be enough. For both of you, you've got two people focused on serving and loving one another. Let that be the focus of this marriage. When this guy never picks up his undies off the floor and you're like, come on, <laughs> this is the seventh time I'm picking up an undie. It's in those moments, it's in those small moments which I choose this person are you, and today are you <laughs> it's in these moments before friends and family on a beach in Cape Town but what's significant about this is we stand before God today and what's special about marriage is that this isn't just a decision it's not something we base on emotions or feelings we stand before God today and make a covenant and a covenant is different from a decision or an emotion because emotions can much like the waves and the wind yeah. shift and change yeah. 
But today we stand before one another and we choose one another based on the covenant we make and stand before God. Let that be the foundation we build this marriage on. And one more thing I'd love to share is this question that you can continually ask yourselves. Am I becoming the person I'm needing is needing? I'll say that again. Am I becoming the person I'm needing is needing? It's easy to say, I just wish for this guy would just be more loving, more kind, more patient. It's very easy for you to take a step back and be like, if Leanne would just do this better and yeah. be here in this moment, more better question. Am I becoming that person yeah. for my spouse? To choose service first. One more scripture I'd love to share before we get into the fun part is 1 Corinthians 13 verses 3 to 8. And the scripture is famous. Uh, it's one we hear all the time. It talks about love. And I feel it's so important to share this scripture because we live in a time today as culture shifts, as time changes, so does the definition of love. Love can often be what we define it and make it. I would love to say, let us build this marriage on this definition of love that we find in 1 Corinthians 30 verse 3 day. And it says this, if I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but I do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud, it doesn't dishonor others, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. Love never fails. Can that be a script that we build this marriage on? Amen. Can that be something we write down in a Bible, on a note, and we reflect, is this the love that I'm living? A love that always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Yeah. A love that never fails. Yeah. That's what I believe for you guys. Thank you. Guys, I'm going to ask some questions now. Okay. I believe you know the answers. <laughs> if you don't, we are you're, we are. you're welcome to face each other. Jonathan, I'm going to ask you a question. And uh, I hope you know the answer. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> Do you, Jonathan, take Leanne to be your wedded wife, to cherish in love and in friendship, in strength and in weakness, in success and in disappointment, to love her faithfully today, tomorrow, and for as long as you two shall live? I do. It's good news. Leanne, <laughs> this is your last chance. <laughs> Leanne asks you the same question. Do you, Leanne, take Jonathan to be your wedded husband, to cherish in love and in friendship, in strength and in weakness, in success to love him faithfully today, tomorrow, and for as long as you two shall live. I do. Good news. <laughs> the couple are going to exchange some vows with one another now. You guys are welcome to take each other's hands. Jonathan, I'm going to share some words if you can just... These stones uh, are not good for me. <laughs> stay off the stones. <laughs> Don't get stoned. <laughs> Jonathan, I'm going, to, I'm going to say some words you can repeat after me. I'm going to start with Jonathan. He's going to share some vows with the yeah. I, Jonathan Kluter. I, Jonathan Kluter. In accordance with God's holy word. In accordance with God's holy word. Take you this day as my wife. Take you this day as my wife. I promise. I promise. And covenant. And covenant. Before God. Before God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. To love you. To love you. As Christ loved the church. As Christ loved the church. To comfort you. To comfort you. To honor you. Honor you. And keep you. And keep you. In all circumstances. In all circumstances. And I will be yours alone. And I will be yours alone. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Beautiful. Leanne, same for you. I, Leanne Katz. I, Leanne Katz. In accordance with God's holy word. In accordance with God's holy word. Give myself to you. Give myself to you. I promise and covenant. I promise and covenant. Before God. Before God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. To love and care for you. To love and care for you. Comfort and encourage you. Comfort and encourage you. In all circumstances. In all circumstances. And I will be yours alone. And I'll be yours alone. As long as we both shall live. And as, as long as we both shall live. She got through that thing to you. <laughs> We're now going to take some time to exchange the rings, which hopefully I still have. <laughs> please. Yeah, please. Um, I'm going to give you Jonathan's Leanne. Thank you. Leanne, Thank I'm you. Gonna, I mean, Jonathan, I'm going to give you Leanne's. Uh, Leanne, I'm going to start with you. If you wouldn't mind grabbing Jonathan's hand, and you can place the ring just before oh, his knuckle. Wrong, wrong hand. That's right. That's right hand. I think that's the correct hand. That is, is it? And you can place the ring just before the knuckle, and you're welcome to repeat. Isn't that the left hand? Yeah. No, no, I think you can. Oh, no, wait, wait. No, it so is the right. 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 
I was just so, I'm actually just preparing him. <laughs> You're always right. <laughs> Freaking repeat off the yeah. coffee. <laughs> and with this ring. And with this ring. Alien. Alien. Take you, John. Take you, Jonathan. To be my husband. To be my husband. Before God. Before God. He brought us together. He brought us together. To love you. To love you. To cherish you. To cherish you. Follow you. Follow you. Through all of life's experiences. To act, to act life's experiences. As you follow God. As you follow God. That through His grace. That through His grace. We might grow together. We might grow together. Into the likeness of Jesus Christ. Into the likeness of Jesus Christ. Our Savior and Lord. Our Savior and Lord. You can put the ring on. <laughs> Jonathan, you can do the same. Just do the repeat after me. And with this ring. And with this ring. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Take you. Take you. Yeah. Yeah. Be my wife. Give me my wife. Before God. Before God. You brought us together. You brought us together. To love you. To love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Follow you. Follow you. Through all of life's experiences. Through all of life's experiences. As you follow God. As you follow God. That through His grace. That through His grace. We might grow together. We might grow together. Into the likeness of Jesus Christ. Into the likeness of Jesus Christ. Our Savior and Lord. Our Savior and Lord. Okay, so ring on. You can hold each other's hands. Look at each other deeply. Look at each other's eyes. And it's now my great honor and privilege to now pronounce Jonathan and Leanne, husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> We <laughs> go! Time's gonna come Like the words to this song It's finally getting sung
So how do you feel Mrs. Clutie? Don't pull a reverse that type of peace sign to me. That's a bit tasty. That's insulting. I'm heartbroken. That's a peace sign. In, in reverse. That's a peace sign. <laughs> Madison, how did you feel? <laughs> Tell us about what just happened, Maddie. Look at those feet. You need to put your shoes on, Madison. These are. <laughs> so uh, her honorary grand grandma and grandpa are taking photos of her. But look at those feet. <laughs> are you happy, my love? Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> are you happy, Maddie? What makes you the happiest? <laughs> Mrs. Cutie. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Mrs. Cutie. <laughs> oh, I can hear that, my love. <laughs> 